Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Wendy here for Wendy's Crafting and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Now I came on uh, two days ago in all my excitement, it was Wednesday wasn't it? Yeah, Wednesday. All my excitement about my new uh, starter pack that arrived. Well I forgot something. <laughs> I forgot the other two stamp sets I ordered along with this, um, with this, with this beautiful, beautiful set. Now this one's called Art Gallery. As you can see, it's a two-step stamping, and you know you've got that. You can make it a bit longer than put that on top of that to make it a bit longer, or put that on top of that. So there's lots of ways you can use it. I think that one there will go either there or there. They're the same. I don't, well, just have a try. And I think it's the darkest one first. Yeah, some do the darkest one first and then work back up. And then some do the lightest and work that way. So entirely up to you as to which way you do it. But please have fun with that one. I can see this being great to make your own DSPs. Uh, the only thing I would advise, though, is not to make them too bold and brash. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, some do like the muted. I think I think the muted ones, uh, they look better. You could match papers with them a lot lot better. And how I for could forget this, I don't know. It's called Woodland Wonder. Now, why I'm very excited about this, because I've got a little plan for it. Now, my little plan is... I don't know whether I should tell you, actually. Um, no. Yes, I will. Yes, sorry. Sorry to tease you like that. My little plan is to make a wall chart, you know, like a growth chart for the children. Because as you can see here, you, you can stamp that. That one goes on top. That one goes on top of there. But what you could do is you could put that on top of that and then that on top of that again. Uh, or even if you masked off the bottom of that there, oh sorry you can't see me now, <laughs> oh dear, if you masked off that bottom you could actually use that to extend either way. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on that today, probably just in the um, in the uh, paper, and, paper and pen mode, paper and pen, paper and pencil mode because pen you can't throw it out. About. And yesterday we went down to my neighbours. I mean, she's a lovely craft, great craft as well. And she had ordered some 12 by 12. Um, what are they called? Story tins. Whatever they're called. Now, I thought, she said, would you like two? I said, no, 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 no. I said, no, thank you. I'll have one, though. Because then I thought, what we, we, I, you, whoever, you know, whoever else, if you've got one of these, well, 12 by 12 storage thing, <laughs> I remember what it's called when I finished this, then, like me, you can put everything in there. I've got the beautiful papers all in there, and then I've got a cardboard divide, and then it'll take you then, it'll take me then into the mercury papers as well. So just a little idea because um, this time what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and use this whole suite to do a variety of projects. Uh, they're not going to be simple because you, they're not, sorry, they're not going to be hard because you know me, I'm a nice and simple girl. So in that, in that storage box, that's the word, in that storage box you can get your papers. Um, I don't know how many of the uh, these obviously are, yeah you could get uh, probably about that many of the tr uh, six by six but of course you could get them all in there and oh, that went back perfectly and then that with that then you could put your pearls your stamp and inside the stamp set I have got to get the um, cause what I do is I get a magnetic shim and put that in there to hold all my dice so they don't go wobbling about and scratching each other and things like that. So I put that 
in with my um, stamps so they're all in one place and they fit in there really nicely and then my ribbon will also fit in there so that's just coming up to the top so that's, that's probably the depth you'll have left over after you put your two lots of uh, 12 by 12. So there we go ladies and gentlemen and I hope you like that little, uh, I don't know what you call it, unboxing tip or boxing tip, I don't know. But I hope you like that and I just thought with this, I, I expect you all to do this, but it was new to me yesterday. Um, but it's an ideal way to keep all your things. And then if you get some scrap pieces, you can put plastic, uh, one of those plastic poly bag thingies in there you put all your waste in there as well okay so thank you very much and i shall see you all later on bye